It's been noted often by pundits that the tone of our politics hasn't gotten better since I was inaugurated. In fact, it's gotten worse. That there's still this yawning gap between the magnitude of our challenges and the smallness of our politics. I was able to, to be part of that here, and yet couldn't translate it the way I wanted to to our politics in Washington. Our progress has never been inevitable. It must be fought for and won by all of us with the kind of patriotism that our fellow Illinoisan, Adlai Stevenson, once described not as a short, frenzied outburst of emotion, but the tranquil and steady dedication of a lifetime. It requires citizenship and a sense that we are one. And today that kind of citizenship is threatened by a poisonous political climate that pushes people away from participating in our public life. It turns folks off. It discourages them. It makes them cynical. And when that happens, more powerful and extreme voices fill the void. My point is the problem is not that politicians are worse. The problem is not that the issues are tougher. And so it's important for us to understand that the situation we find ourselves in today is not somehow unique or hopeless. We've always gone through periods when our democracy seems stuck. We've got to build a better politics, one that's less of a spectacle and more of a battle of ideas, one that's less of a business and more of a mission. 